The Turner Way study found that 96% of women who gave birth after being denied an abortion ultimately said they no longer wish they'd gotten an abortion. When we point this statistic out, we often get comments like this one. Basically, people think that we are saying because nearly every woman who is denied an abortion ends up saying she no longer wished she'd aborted, then that's a reason to outlaw abortion. That's actually not what we're saying. We don't think abortion should be outlawed because some people regret their abortions or because a lot of people don't regret being denied abortion. We think abortion should be outlawed because it kills valuable human beings. When we talk about the emotional and psychological repercussions of being denied an abortion, we talk about those factors for other reasons. First, there's the fact that so many pro-choice people seem to believe that if women can't get wanted abortions, it will basically ruin their lives, and that their children will end up unwanted, unloved, abused, maybe in foster care, and if they're not in foster care and the women are trapped raising them, the women will be resentful and regretful, and it will make things so much harder for them. The researchers of the Turnaway study itself like to talk a lot about the findings that women who couldn't get abortions ended up with worse financial outcomes in other situations than women who got abortions, but then they don't want to talk about how the women themselves feel about their situations. So they're purporting to speak for women who couldn't get abortions, but they don't want the women to speak for themselves. Second, we think that a lot of women considering abortion also believe that if they can't get an abortion, it will have devastating effects on their life. And we want them to be aware of what the statistics actually show, which is that the vast majority of women who couldn't get abortions ended up not regretting that they didn't abort. Third, we want people who support abortion rights but are unlikely to ever feel they need an abortion to have a more full picture of what happens for women who can't get abortions and also what's going on for them when they're considering abortion. Pro-choice people talk about the decision to abort in a very idealized way, as if it's always or almost always made with perfectly informed consent and absent pressure or fear or panic and with perfect foresight. And that's not true. The Turnaway study found that only one week after being denied an abortion, over a third of these women already said they no longer wish that they had aborted. This is a remarkable level of ambivalence, and it very much undermines the narrative of the idealized abortion decision. Fourth, we want people to understand, and this especially applies to people who oppose abortion, actually, that just because a woman considers abortion or even tries to get an abortion does not mean that she would be a bad mother. In fact, separate from this finding, the Turnaway study found that the vast majority of women who gave birth after being denied an abortion emotionally bonded to their children just fine. And fifth, we want people to recognize the factors that increase or decrease the odds of women wishing that they had aborted. So, for example, the Turnaway study found that women who had strong social support were less likely to wish they had aborted. And importantly, women who placed their children for adoption were more likely to wish they had aborted. So the Turnaway study found that basically everyone who gave birth after being denied an abortion ultimately said they no longer wish they'd gotten an abortion. And while that is not a reason to outlaw abortion, it is a reason for us to better empower women to take care of their children. I continue to believe that a lot of women consider abortion not because they are sure they want an abortion, but because they are afraid they can't properly care for their babies. And the solution to that is not to facilitate abortion access, it's to facilitate helping them care for their babies.